Output MIDI filter gets handy if you want to use M Drummer's rhythm engine and control another plugin with it. It serves as a MIDI interface translating M Drummer sequences commands into MIDI messages. By default, M Drummer follows the general MIDI standard, but as you probably know, each maker has different ideas about keys triggering various drums and the velocity response, so the output MIDI filter can help with solving potential issues. First, let's hook up a drum machine plugin. For that, I must send MIDI Stream from M Drummer into it. It happens on MIDI Channel 10. How to route MIDI from one plugin to another depends on your DAW. In Reaper, it is very simple. Just put the drum machine plugin after M Drummer. To make the sound difference obvious, I'm going to use an acoustic set in M Drummer. And an electronic one in the other drum plugin. To open the output MIDI filter, go to the menu and select Output MIDI Filter. Here it is. On the top, we select a drum and then we will edit what M Drummer should do with it. I'll take a snare drum. You can mute or solo the sound by these two buttons. I'll solo it so we can clearly hear what's happening. Let's check the original loop played by M Drummer. And now by the Drum Machine plugin. As you can hear, it's not exactly a snare drum. All I need to do is to enable a modifier and select which MIDI note M Drummer should transmit. I could check the plugin's documentation, but I'm lazy. So I'll just try a few until I find the snare drum. Some drum machines also have multiple articulations for individual drums. M Drummer mostly uses velocity for multiple articulations. And here you can use multiple modifiers to produce different MIDI keys based on the velocity. Let's just increase the minimal velocity. Now enable another modifier and select a different MIDI key which will be triggered if the note is not taken by the first modifier, that is, if the velocity is not high enough. I can also change the output velocity using the velocity alteration. Finally, if the velocity response of the other plugin isn't exactly what you'd like it to be, then the velocity mapping graph gets handy. Let's turn it on. The horizontal axis represents velocity values coming out of M Drummer's sequencer, and vertical one corresponds to a receiver, the drum plugin in my case. This black line in the middle is what we are interested in. When it's straight, like it is now, that means the original velocity values will be passed without any change. However, if I move up to this point, I will push mid-velocity hits into higher velocity territory. Sort of a MIDI compression. And vice versa, if I move it down, we can expect a MIDI expansion. Don't forget to save your hard work for future projects. See you next time.